Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another quick build. Today we're taking a look at one of the most popular champions in League right now, and one of the most winning champions in League right now. It is, in fact, Warwick, the terror of the Season 5 jungle so far. We're going to go ahead and take a look at his abilities, how to max those out, your runes, your masteries, and the items you're going to want to build while playing Warwick. To start things off, let's take a look at his abilities. Let's go ahead and start off with what you're going to take at level 1, which is, of course, your Hunter's Call, because in the jungle, you want more attack speed. We're not going to max this out first, though. We're probably going to max this out second or third, depending on your playstyle. But what we're going to do then after that at level 2, put a point into your Hungering Strike. We're going to max this out first. Level 3, put a point. Actually, probably back into your Hungering Strike. You're not going to be ganking till 6, but early on, it's not terrible to get a point into your Blood Scent. You'll put your next point into that, and you'll max this out typically last and then put points into your ultimate at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for the rune page that we take when we play Warwick in the jungle, we're going to be taking our AD jungle page, which consists of attack damage marks, armor seals, flat magic resist glyphs, and then we're going to take movement speed quintessences. As for the masteries page that we take, we go with our AD jungle mastery page, which is of course 21 in the offense, 9 in the defense, 0 in utility, 21 in the offense. We're going to get damage because the build itself with items is going to go slightly tanky for multiple reasons. And so we're not really worried about defense over there. We'll just get the damage we want early to clear the jungle and for those first ganks once we hit 6. And then 9 in the defense. Don't worry even about getting the tough skin. You're probably not going to take any damage in the jungle because Warwick is incredibly broken. As for the items we like to take when we're playing Warwick in the jungle, we're going to take his Hunter's Machete at level 1 and a couple health pots, which you might honestly not use since your passive and your Q keep you super alive in the jungle. And then a Warding Totem. Our first few trips back, we're going to go ahead and pick up the Skirmisher's Saber, which is going to be awesome. Read into it if you don't know what it's about. It's going to be the best choice for him. We're going to go smite people and alt them and kill them fast. And then obviously you start to pick up your boots. They're important to have. As for our core items, we're going to go ahead and get that Saber, and we're going to buy the Enchantment Devourer, which gives us more damage and on, on attack, which is great for our ultimate and just in general, and 50% attack speed. It's amazing. And then as for our boots, you have two choices here. You can either go with Boots of Swiftness, which is great for when fighting and chasing once your E is activated too and you chase people down. That's good. It helps you there. Or Tenacity on Mercury Treads and the Magic Resist are also very, very good to have. Um, the next two items we want to get, depending on whether we need to prioritize magic resist or armor, is going to be either a spirit visage if we need the magic resist. Also, this is amazing with this kit just in general because of its passive. And the omen, which is also awesome because of the way it builds the armor and the health. As for the full build, it goes like this. Skirmisher Saber. Boots of Swiftness. Personal choice. I like those. And then spirit visage, omen. Then we get a wit's end for even more attack speed, magic resist, and then the passives that it has, which are awesome. And then we like to get a Guardian Angel because it's OP and he comes back to life and still murders people and eats their life and then gets his life. So options on this in case you don't want the GA include a Frozen Heart if they really have a lot of attack damage. If the heart's just awesome. It's going to be amazing. And then, of course, the Blade of the Rune King if you want damage, although we already have a lot of damage because between the Wits End, and the stacks you will be getting for be for having the skirmishers is ridiculous because that's the stacking feral flare of season five. So between those two, you honestly don't need damage. Just be a frontline tank that still kills everything because Warwick currently has the highest win rate, like 60%. Prepare for a slight nerf. It's coming. But that is a quick build for Warwick. Have fun in the jungle while he's still incredibly broken. But until next time, just good luck on the fields of justice.